Packing your cooler correctly will ensure that samples arrive within method-specified thermal preservation requirements. Packing the cooler properly protects samples from breakage during shipment, both of which may require resampling. Use a cooler that adequately protects the sample during shipment. PACE can provide coolers and prepared sample containers at your request. First, place bubble wrap on the bottom of the cooler. This will protect the bottles during shipment. Place a heavy-duty bag inside the cooler before adding samples. The bag should contain all samples and ice. Carriers may return coolers if they are found to be leaking. Always use bubble bags and bubble wrap to prevent breakage. It is the ideal packing material for maximum shock protection as the trapped air provides thermal insulation and helps keep the samples cold. Bottles should be sealed in a bubble wrap bag and placed upright in the cooler. This will isolate and protect each container, as well as preventing damage or leaks at the cap. Do not stack glass containers in the cooler or lay samples on their side. Use a larger cooler or multiple coolers if more space is required. To protect sample labels during shipment, either seal the ice in plastic bags as shown, or seal the samples in plastic bags. This will segregate the ice from samples, protecting sample labels from getting wet, degrading, or falling off. Most environmental samples need to be received at less than 6 degrees Celsius, but not frozen. For most of these shipments, use regular ice to keep samples cold. At least one-third of the cooler should be filled with ice, roughly 20 to 25 pounds of ice for an average 50-quart cooler. When in doubt, use more ice. Ice is always cheaper than resampling. Whenever possible, use a temperature blank. Temperature blanks ensure the samples meet thermal preservation requirements. Whenever possible, ship samples the same day they are collected. If samples need to be collected over multiple days, store in a refrigerator until ready for shipment. Samples at ambient temperature should be chilled before packaging to save the ice from having to lower the temperature of the sample and keep it cold. Use a zip tie or twist tie to securely close the bag liner. This insulates the contents and prevents leakage. To further protect bottles from breakage, use bubble wrap along the walls of the cooler and to fill any unoccupied space. Packing the contents tightly will prevent samples from moving around and bumping other objects during shipping and handling. When filling out labels or chain of custody documents, always use a permanent water-resistant ink. Fill out all sections of the chain of custody document completely to ensure there is no delay in testing. Always put relevant paperwork in a sealable plastic bag so the paper does not get wet. Never attach a chain of custody to the outside of a cooler. When appropriate, a custody seal can be used by placing it across the opening where the lid meets the cooler base. Tape the cooler securely shut, wrapping around the cooler, preferably on both ends of the cooler as shown. If using a custody seal, the tape should be placed directly over the seal. If you have any questions, use the information provided to contact one of our dedicated sample receiving professionals.